stuck over the whole year. So the beginning of us signing the lease, and then my mom does fitness hula hoop classes. So she does those here also in the park and then at different locations. This is when we released our first batch of teas. Um, more tea parties because we did a lot of tea parties this year. And then um, this was us doing for the first time our um, professional services where we go in home to people in Homewood and repot their plants for them and do plant care. So that's another hula hoop picture for the hula hoop diva. And then um, we'll leave the annual tea party that we have. So this was our first year International Tea Day was a success. So we had a lot of people come out and support us, things that people needed help with. And we had a lot of people coming in and asking about repotting. So then we started to do, as of this year, a monthly repotting day where people could either come into the shop and we'll repot their plants for them, or we can do the in-home service where yeah. we can go repot them in the house. So the initial year, plan was, um, to make a connection with your family farm back in Mississippi yes. and get plants that were actually growing there. Is that still in the works? Or? Oh yes, very much so. So <laughs> last year was us planning out the field and everything. And so this year we've done some planning and we plan on um, working at least um, two acres of land. Right now. So, then, so on our family farm, we plan to do the tea um, herbs and then a few varieties of the tropical plants. Okay. So everything in our store will be 100% sourced from our 